You know, gluten has definitely been a buzzword for at least 20 or so years. But let's walk back to what is gluten? What, what is the component of gluten within the wheat plant? So gluten is the protein that's in the wheat plant. And so that protein has some unique properties to it. It's elastic, um, but that's, that's your plant source protein. And aside from the 1% of the population worldwide that cannot digest that appropriately, um, it, it is a very important protein source for people. And the reason it's become so popular is that it's, it's so versatile. You can make noodles with it, you can make breads with it, you can use like a uh, sourdough, we're using microbes, the yeast, to um, expand the dough, that elasticity. So it's, it's, it's kind of gone into you know, cultures worldwide. And um, so here in the US, it's you know, primary staple grain. Um, it's just become um, the most important protein source worldwide. So gluten, um, even though it's, it's caught the attention in terms of like gluten-free diets, um, it's really um, completely overlooked as how important it is for people. And that most people, we're talking, you know, 90 plus percent of the population can easily digest it. Um, it provides important amino acids. Um, so it's really good for developing uh, immune system, you know, muscle growth, um, you know, hair, skin, and nails. Um, so it's, it's important, but I, you know, with nutrition, I think we, we kind of want to put it in a box. And, and gluten, it, it's hard to put that into a box. Um, and, and, and by putting it in a box, I mean, it's the 1% that we're looking at that have celiac that cannot consume it. And that tends to make headlines. But um, most of the world is able to consume gluten. And it's so versatile and it's been used for centuries. Gluten goes back a long ways, and let's look at Chinese culture. Sixth century, Chinese noodle makers have a term for flour, it's min qin, and it means the muscle of flour. And they realize that if you take flour and you run water, you mix water with it, that it creates kind of an elastic uh, dough, and then they can make noodles out of that. Um, and then in the 11th century, um, in some Buddhist monasteries, they found recipes for imitation venison and jerky made out of gluten. So it's, it's been a, a versatile meat replacement um, and then noodle component for centuries.